and welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip comes via our good friend and um, employee here, Aaron. Uh, this was one of his employee picks. Um, he is a pen nut. He knows all about all the coolest pens and he is the one who insisted that we pick this up. And I wholeheartedly agree because this pen is a very unusual and we have them in a couple of different styles. So we've got fine liners and point synergy, gel ones and all this kind of stuff, colors, but it's a very unusual pen. It is made by Pilot. You know, how I have said for years and years, there's no such thing as a mistake. Well, with this tool in hand, there really, really is no such thing as a mistake because you can change anything that you put down with this pen. If you are experienced with watercolor, you know that if you're doing a lot of sketching with a pencil or graphite and stuff, once you lay down your watercolor, it's there. You know, like once that watercolor dries, it's sealed the graphite into the surface and it's very, very difficult to remove. So you have to kind of, if you're gonna leave those reference lines in there, you're gonna have to commit uh, and make that work. But with this new tool, the friction pens that I have here. This is a nice little set. Look how cute. Oh, um, these come in some really unusual uh, colors and stuff. I'm going to be sketching with this glorious kind of smoky green color that's adorable. I want you to see uh, that this one's a little bit unusual. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of got a, a thick body. Um, it's got a nice little ergonomic uh, soft handle and stuff but it has a silicone uh, eraser at the end, which is why it gets its name friction. So we're gonna do just a little bit of sketching and lay in some color here because I want you to see a couple of things. So I've got a little reference photo that I'm working from and I'm going to lay in and you know this isn't looking all that smoky green on camera it doesn't matter because it's just reference line um it looks much darker but um we are going to um put in some line here and let you see exactly how this looks now granted I'm just sketching. You can establish a much more deliberate, consistent line than what I'm doing right here. So we're going to uh, just kind of lay these shapes in. Uh, we've got some cool stuff going on in here. Um, and we're not all that worried about how this is going to going to go exactly uh, we're just kind of getting some points in there for good measure and stuff like this so you're like okay Jules get the point um, so <laughs> you're all like land your plane woman um, so I'm going to show you a couple of really cool things because this is friction um, this is a gel ink that is heat sensitive and also friction sensitive. So I can take with this just little silicone eraser here at the back, I can take all of this out. So any part of this that was like, you know, you didn't love it, um, you can just take it out. Now, do you need to have this all the time? No, you do not. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so here's, here's my eraser, right? Well, I'm gonna use the butt end of it just to show you what I'm talking about. We're going to just put pressure on this and it'll just pressure alone will take it off. So you can do all kinds of cool stuff that way. You can just do, 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 take it gone, right? So now what happens? You want, the proof is in the pudding, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we can use heat to remove this even after we have already set in with some, some watercolor and stuff. So we're gonna lay in um, some basic shapes. And so we're going to say here, well, what if I've gotten, 
Uh, and see, I've got full coverage over that line that we've made, right? There's nothing we've missed. We're gonna come back in here and uh, grab some color and, uh, you know, just lay our shapes in and do some cool stuff. But what we're really trying to show you is that even after we have kind of established um, this color buildup and we have our lines in here that we're not gonna have to stress out and go, oh, now I have to work around this where that line was. There's supposed to be, um, you know, um, a highlight and I've got this big garish silly looking line now. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how this works and how you take all of that stuff out that you don't need anymore, okay? So we're gonna lay in some more color. We're gonna, I'm gonna just do this. Hee hee hee. Um, and we're just kind of making some shapes. Let's grab a little bit. Uh, that's uh, some American Journey burnt umber and stuff. And yes, it just ran all over the place. I don't care. It's fine. So we've got some interesting stuff going on and we've got enough information laid down that we don't really need all these anymore. You can do this with pressure, but we're gonna show you how to do this with a heat gun. We're going to take these lines out um, even under this already established watercolor. So watch right now, we got our little Wagner tool here. Watch how amazing this is. Just with heat alone, we can make this all go away. Done, done and done and all that is gone. So any part of um, these things that you don't want, you can simply just remove and not disturb your watercolor at all. So check them out now. They're totally amazing. We have them in all kinds of shapes, colors, and sizes right here at Cheap Joe's, and we're sure that you will enjoy.